They had to unlock it with two keys. <laughs> yeah, now you're I just gonna know. spill the- oh! oh! Hey everybody, welcome to Binging with Babish. My name is Simone and this is George and this is where we watch and binge movies and television. Red October. The hunt for it. But Red October, that's what uh, that's what they call, like that's that's the other name for the 1917 October Revolution in Russia. Oh, okay. Wait, do we know for sure that it's set in 1917? No, I'm just, just using when the... Red October. Yeah, the Red okay. October. That's all. That's all it is. So maybe it's like they're hunting for <laughs> artifacts is the wrong word, but like memorabilia from mm. Red October from that time apparently there's a super nintendo game based on this what <laughs> I, don't, I don't know that's so random <laughs> oh shit <laughs> that looks like where i was for christmas <laughs> New this music is insanely epic oh hey <laughs> another mctiernan interesting Okay, that gives an idea of what to expect. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be super manly, isn't it? Is it a weapon? Instead of an artifact? So something sank, and yeah. they need to find it. I mean, it's Soviet era, so maybe nuclear weapons? Oh, God. Boy, are you kidding me? Don't let it pull more than the usual nonsense. Two stories, two- Hey! <laughs> hmm? You're going to miss the plane. It's Dr. Crusher. Okay. You know, if you do try and get some sleep, the flight will go a lot faster. I can never sleep on a plane. In turbulence. Pardon? It's very nosy. Yeah. Mind your business. Stewardess. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. If someone's like, go to sleep, I'm like, what do you plan on doing? What do you, why Yo. you, what? <laughs> why does it matter you to you? You're going to steal my shoes? What the f Hey, Tom oh, Clancy. Oh, Tom Clancy novel. Okay. Interesting. Jack boy. There he is. up in here. She's the Red October, the latest typhoon oh, class. there you go. The Russians call him Vilnius Nastavnik. What are these doors? Those doors, sir, are the problem. Satellite caught Red October in Pollyani Inlet this morning. Okay, so they're going to try and get a, a submarine. Yeah, that's where the hunt part begins, I guess. Yeah. Oh, my, the Caltech, we used to do this in our sleep. You hear it now? What? A whale. Oh. <laughs> he gets to ragging on you too bad, kid. You could always ask him about Pavarotti. He figures this whole boat is basically just his own personal private stereo set. Pavarotti. It was Paganini. What happened? <laughs> it was Paganini. <laughs> this is my story. Okay? Tell it right, cop. Pavarotti is a tenor. Paganini was a composer. <laughs> yes, you uncultured <laughs> swine. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden, they start hearing... Pavarotti. Oh. oh. What do I do? I got it. Coyote. Okay. Goodbye. I gotta know how good or bad are their Russian. Nazivai Mae Pavrieski Armageddon. And the seventh angel poured forth his bowl into the air, and a voice cried out from heaven, saying, It is done. Oh. That was cool. Hmm. It is an ancient Hindu text quoted by an American. American? Hmm. He invented the atomic bomb. That zoom in to his mouth is when they transition from Russian to English. Oh, uh, yeah. How many agents did the KGB put aboard my boat? This vessel belongs to the people of the Soviet Union. If the KGB or the GRU has agents aboard, I will be the last to know. I suggest we open our orders, Captain. But is it is this really how orders are given though? You have to be on the boat out in the ocean and then you open a box? To grid square reference five four nine zero. Captain Tupolev's boat. I know he descends from aristocracy and that he was your student. Ooh. But would you permit me to post our orders and inform the crew of our mission? Is that allowed? They had to unlock it with two keys. <laughs> yeah, now you're I just gonna spill the oh! oh! Oh, oh, yeah, he's not allowed to say. <laughs> oh, f he's still alive. Oh, he like broke his trachea or something. Okay. Oh, he's switching out the orders. Secret, secret, secret. I 
feel like fire inside a compressed space is a bad idea. Yeah, no good, no good, no good. Don't open a window. You're in a goddamn so. Oh, it's a phone. Dr. Petrol. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wouldn't they walk in and smell the burn paper? For sure they would. Okay, so the United States government wants to find Red October, and the yeah. Russian government wants to find Red October. So it's like a submarine gone rogue. No idea, but it's got something on it that both parties want. Or it's a ship that's been stolen by a third party. Oh. Like a nuclear sub stolen by... Commandeered, I think is the correct term. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Pirated. <laughs> this, this could be a caterpillar. Oh what? <laughs> no, it's a boat. <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> a jet engine for the water. Goes in the front, gets squirted out the back. Only it's got no moving parts, so it's very, very quiet. Like how quiet? Like a cat. It's doubtful our sonar oh. even pick it up. It'd sound like whales humping or some kind of. Oh. Okay, so that's that whole little conversation about whales yes, earlier. Yes, yes. We cannot go on without a political officer. Doctor, this is a combat vessel. We do not cancel operations because of accidents. I'm removing the political officer's missile key. Carry on. Possible, Doctor. Our orders are for strict radio silence. Orders are... Right, the fake order. Mm-hmm. The reason for having two missile keys is so that no one man may... May... Declare war. Oh, is that what he's gonna do? May arm the missiles. Perhaps I should keep the key. Thank you, that'll be all, Doctor. Like, this is Cold War, right? So he's gonna... Mm -hmm. Fire a nuke. <gasps> Is that uh, assistant cook working for him? Well, no, it's at about 20,000 years. Well, the political officer did say was. he doesn't even know if there's a KGB member mm. on the ship. So yeah, maybe yeah. that is one. Yeah, I suspect. Call this guy Typhoon 7, start a type on him. Let's see if we can work him a little closer. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay, I feel like he's going to be like the reverse uh, Vasily um, Ar Archipop? Archipop? No contact, sir. Scope is clear. Good. Then it is time I explain our orders to the crew. It is an honor to speak to you today. We have the advantage. Now, it reminds me of the heady days of Sputnik and Yuri Gagarin. The order is engage the silent drive. I nice, sir. Balance control. <laughs> I, just, I like that. Sean Connery is the only one that's not even trying for an accent. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're right there. <laughs> Comrades. Our own fleet doesn't know our <laughs> full potential. They will do everything. Like, it's hard not to say comrade without a Russian accent. <laughs> yeah. A great day, comrades. We sail into history. American, Los Angeles class. Is the American turning to follow us? No, Kev. You can't hear us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Heard more. Singing. <laughs> I thought I heard singing, sir. <laughs> okay. Oh! Captain of the sub we had following her radioed in. Thing up and disappeared right in front of them. They sortied their whole bloody fleet. And that's about the size of it. Who's giving the briefing? You are. Give them direct answers. Tell them what you think. We believe called the Red October in reference to the October Revolution of... Oh, Africa. hey! <laughs> a magneto-hydrodynamic drive, or caterpillar, that would enable the sub to run virtually silent. It is also possible that this drive system, if operable, could render the Red October undetectable to our SOSIS warning nets in the Atlantic. The absence of activity in the Pacific suggests this could be just an exercise. Suppose this is the beginning of a move against NATO. But Admiral Predoran immediately demanded a meeting with Premier Chanyenko. The Soviet fleet sailed with orders to find Red October. <laughs> Today is the 23rd, isn't it? Yeah. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Ramius might be trying to defect. Do you mean to suggest that this man has Proceed. come... He's Lithuanian by birth, raised by his paternal grandfather, a fisherman. And he has no children, no ties to leave behind. And today is the first anniversary of his wife's death. You're just an analyst. What can you possibly know what goes on in this mine? He's been a maverick his entire career. I actually met him once at an embassy dinner. Have you ever met Captain Ramius, General? Dr. Ryan, 
Would you stay for a moment? I said, speak your mind, Jack, but Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So he's defecting instead of trying to start a war. Or at least that's the theory. Mm -hmm. It makes sense why he forged fake orders and took yeah. out the political officer. Yeah. He was patronizing you and you stomped on him. My opinion, yeah. he deserved it. He devised a plan to intercede, ready to go at a moment's notice. You're perfect. I can't ask any of these characters to go. One, they don't believe in it. Whereas you are expendable. Engineer reports 105% on the reactor possible, but not recommended. Go to 105 on the reactor. Where are we going? We're going to kill a friend, Yevgeny. Oh. We're going to kill Ramius. <laughs> just, just says it. Okay, so this sonar obsessed guy is gonna crack the case. It out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Independently, right? Well, she just married a, a factory manager. Excuse me, doctor. Do you have the figures for the latest batch of radiation tests? Anything to shut him up? Thank you, doctor. <laughs> Before we begin, Captain, I'd like to know exactly what happened to Putin. He's in power. We're risking our lives here. Look, Putin could have caused complications. You are not in command here. If the crew finds out. We could have a mutiny. Well, I just don't go back. You know, All we have to there say will be no is going weird. back. I dispatched a letter to Admiral Bedoran, in which I announced our intention to defect. When he reached the New World, Cortez burned his ships. You couldn't just turn the submarine over to the Americans. You had to make a political state. So wait, did they not all sign up for this? Well, they all, I guess they all agree to it, but he's just doing stuff on his own as well. Like mm. sending the letter and killing the officer. Mm -hmm. You heard the captain dismissed. But the worry is the Americans. We meet the right sort. This will work. We get some buckaroo. Uh, <laughs> not I a buckaroo. I, th I know, I think he is a buckaroo. I think he meant like a hothead who was just gonna shoot first oh. and ask questions later. I guess which I don't know what a buckaroo means. <laughs> which is probably why he left a letter. Because he knew the Americans would catch wind. Mm -hmm. So then the Americans wouldn't immediately go in guns blazing. You work for Jim Greer? That's right, sir. And I imagine you'll tell me what all the hubbub's about. The moment that sub went silent and I thought I heard some singing, when I asked the computer to identify it, what I got was magma displacement. L listen to it at 10 times speed. Now that's gotta be man-made. Right, yeah, it's two. Mm -hmm. At 0, 0930, it was here. Yeah. I came back to it at 11. Oh my God, it's a straight line. Okay, so he's figured out where they're going. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> you may think so I'm crazy, but I'll bet that magma displacement was actually some new Russian sub. $40 million computer tells you you're chasing an earthquake. You don't believe it. And you come up with this on your own. Now relax, Jonas, you sold me. <laughs> First take us to Periscope Death. This week got a phone in. Okay, so it's now like a race, right? Between mm -hmm. this sub. The Dallas and the Red October. Yeah. Well, the Dallas and also mm -hmm. uh, uh, Jack Ryan, right? Who has a right. different theory. These guys might shoot first. Oh, that's true. Can you track this sucker? Yes, sir. Hmm. Maybe they're more interested in tracking and not pew pew. Maybe. No, things may appear that simple in the cubicle at CIA. And I don't think your notion of a few days inspection is going to wash either. Ones that don't defect are going to go back and say we got the boat. Hmm. Kill them. <laughs> so the only way for this thing to work is for you to get them off the boat in such a way that they think we don't have it. Otherwise, this whole business is just academic, right? Oh. Yes, sir. I I think I see your point. Yeah. Oh, I was just thinking, like, the only way to get them off the sub is to, like, fake some damage or something that, like, it's dangerous to stay on this. So, like, the Dallas has to out. shoot at it? A stopwatch and a map, and I'll fly the Alps in a plane with no windows. The map is accurate enough. Mm. Is that another foreshadow that the map is not accurate? Perhaps. Uh, 195 and maintaining speed, 26 knots. <laughs> What's 26 knots in kilometers? Good. Maintain course and speed. Zero. Oh, there we go. The map was incorrect. 
no, no, the map was probably correct, but he said it was all about timing, and if you're going faster than you intended, the timing's all off. No. There was a power spike, but the reactor scrammed automatically. What? I gotta find out what's wrong first. Could be a problem with the liquid helium, or maybe the superconductor. Make revolutions for 20 knots, and engage the propellers. Mr. Ambassador, you have nearly 100 naval vessels operating in the North Atlantic. And what looks like an exercise could be a prelude to war. Mm. Wars have begun that way, Mr. Ambassador. We have lost one of our submarines. Lost it? Several of the crew of the officers are sons of high party officials. You're telling me that this is a massive rescue operation? That is correct. <laughs> okay. Such a Soviet thing to do. Mm. Half truth, half lie. Mm. Shall we bottom the boat, Captain? No, too late for that now. Countermeasures, prepare to launch a full spread. Torpedo in the water. Stand by. Launch countermeasures. Launch countermeasures, aye, sir. If the countermeasure doesn't work. Shut up. Yeah, that guy really is really complaining. Torpedo has lost contact. Massive approach. Time to torpedo impact. Torpedo impact, 35 seconds. Oh, I would be rubbish as a captain. 35 seconds. <laughs> or literally any position on the submarine. <laughs> Turn it massive in seven, six. Doctor has no idea what's going on. <laughs> yeah. One mark. Torpedo impact 25 seconds. Plus 15 seconds. Captain, <laughs> we're out of position by so much as a boat lane. Captain, we're out of the way. You're relieved. What the f? Right full rudder. Reverse starboard engine. Right full rudder. Like, I get that guy's scared. Yeah. But when you're down to seconds of stressful situations, don't f the interrupt. Navigator! <laughs> Captain, the really shooting at us. Why? I found out what happened to the caterpillar before an overload shut down the whole caterpillar. What are you saying? Ooh. Captain, we have a sabotage on board. Ooh, okay. Is it the assistant chef? <laughs> <laughs> or whatever that guy was? Check his files for information on the crew. We may have to put them off before we plan. How do you get a crew to want to get off a nuclear sub? I know how he's going to get the crew. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share, and check out our Patreon for exclusives. And now, back to the movie. During the night, a line of Russian attack subs have taken up station off every East Coast port. Aside from maybe a hundred more bare foxtrots, have a row of attack subs. Crowded waters, my goodness. They're banging away with their active sonar as if they're looking for something, but nobody's listening. They're not trying to find Remus, they're trying to drive him. Hounds to the hunters. Oh. Excuse me, sir, what's this sub off by yourself? It's Bart Mancuso's boat. I think that Captain Mancuso has found the Red October. Ooh. Eject! 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 Oh, shit! Load it down with enough fuel to get to there, but Dallas may not be there. At this water's temperature, you'll have about four minutes. Right, so he's gonna fly out there not even knowing if the Dallas is gonna be there to receive him. Yeah. Make my depth 650 feet. Five Five five. Time. Proceeding below the thermal bubble. Is this the most technical movie we've watched? Yeah, maybe. It is. A, it's a lot of. It's a lot. I mean, I'm. A lot of I'm, naval I'm doing my best to, to keep up. <laughs> yeah. I've seen me a mermaid once. <laughs> I ain't never seen no phantom Russian submarine. <laughs> See, they don't take him seriously. Okay, so that's the overriding theme. Hmm. Right. The prisoner old, old buckaroo doesn't trust the guy with the brain. Mm hmm. Oh, but now he can hear it clearly, right? Because they're. Right, yeah, they're not silent isn't... anymore. Yeah. yeah. Caterpillar is operational and oh. appears to be running normally. Do you think they would let me live in Montana? Why does he like Montana? I don't know. I don't, you don't hear much about Montana, do you? Except for <laughs> Hannah? I will marry a wow. Woman. <laughs> and I will have a pickup truck. Possibly even a recreational vehicle. <laughs> oh, you know what? Oh, no man. Papers. No papers. State to state. I have a bad feeling that he's going to... Something's going to happen to him, right? Because he's all yeah. dreamy and, and hopeful die. for the future. Yeah. Console, not crazy Ivan! All stop, quick, quiet. Crazy Ivan? Are they that close to it? I 
Yes. Sometimes turn suddenly to see if anyone's behind them. We call it Crazy Ivan. Oh, it's a maneuver? Oh. No monuments. Oh, this is crazy. Yeah, there's so much tension. I would have the Ivan. My shoulders are so tense. <laughs> It's weird though, because he's like he's relaxed. So you're seeing like the relaxed mm -hmm. Sean Connery, and then just knowing what's out there. And the music, mm -hmm. contrasting what they're caught talking about. Yeah, it's crazy. Con Sona, target is not coming out of our starboard. What if Sam Neill is the double agent? That's just like him. Concur. He's returning to course Sorry. to one zero. <laughs> okay, back you go. Holy shit! That seems really real. Yeah. Don't touch it! Oh! Oh shit! Oh, oh. What? He just unclipped himself? Man overboard! Port shot! Send out the dive! So he's got four minutes before he dies in the yeah. water, right? <laughs> of hypothermia? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you lunatic! How do you do, Captain? <laughs> <laughs> it's a pleasure to be aboard. It seems that the initial reports that one of our submarines was missing were not completely accurate. Mm -hmm. Now he has to come clean. Apparently he has suffered a kind of mental or nervous breakdown to fire his missiles on the United States. No, that's not what I heard. <laughs> you offered your assistance. Yeah, that was a rescue mission. Now you want us to help you hunt him down, kill yeah. him. Yeah, I mean, the Russians would never let the Americans have him, so they're not mm -hmm. going to tell them that he's defecting. Yeah, 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 yeah. Assuming we can find him, just what exactly am I supposed to do about it? Well, there's the possibility that he and a good portion of his crew are attempting to defect. I think the most confusing part of this movie <laughs> is how information is getting to different places. Like, he had his theories and stuff, mm -hmm. but when were they confirmed and whatnot? Skipper's Ramius. Right. It seems yeah. the circumstances have changed uh, somewhat, Mr. Maybe Ryan. I'm just... Ramius is potential renegade and threatens independent missile. Oh, shit. Okay. All right, so the captain of this sub is getting conflicting information Yeah, now. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man. A theory versus an order. Mm. Okay, so it is still a theory. Oh, that, well, there's no way for him then. to actually know if he's defecting That's what or not, I thought. Right? Yeah, that's what I thought. I was like, how did he get that information? Yeah. Okay, so I'm not losing my mind. That's good. Not today. Yes, sir. Contact Titan 7 on bearing 250, right where he's supposed to be. Weapons control. I want full safeties. We're so close. I don't want those fish coming back at us. Has he made any crazy Ivans? What difference does that make? The next one will be to starboard. Captain, there has to be some way you can establish contact without violating your orders. I'm telling you, he wants to defect. All right, Ryan, we just unzipped our fly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now he has to do something that Ramus can understand as yeah, 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 communication. Yeah. 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 Captain Shelf and Teletransients, he may be trying to open his torpedo tube doors. Lock the firing solution into the computer. Do not open the door. What does that mean exactly? Lock solution into computer. Like it maybe if you don't open the tubes, it looks like you're not ready to shoot yet. Mm. Negative mm -hmm. captain, he's just sitting there. Yeah. Hold on. He wants to go up and take a peek. We'll play along. Okay. Two okay, cool headed but... captains, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do not approach US coast or you will be attacked. Right. Okay. Can he acknowledge with a single ping? Yeah, he can. <laughs> One ping only. <laughs> okay. That's... Is that like one for yes, two for no? Tell me one thing. You know he was going to go to starboard. Yeah. I didn't. <laughs> I had a 50-50 chance and I needed a break. Oh, okay. <laughs> that You know what? That makes me happy because I was like, how the does he know? <laughs> That's fair. Like, he met him one time. <laughs> <laughs> Ping for silly. One ping only, please. <laughs> Double clicked. No! <laughs> I kept. Maybe he is the saboteur. He's acting. What the hell is this about? <laughs> it's one pig. The Russians want us to sink her. They're gonna fake sink the ship? Yeah. So then it looks like they did their job internationally. Mm. Yeah, that would solve all the things, right? 
they don't but want the, it to actually But the crew hit. has to also know that they're being attacked. It can't just be a fake for the crew as well. Right. right? Oh, yeah. The I have no, the... no yeah. idea what they're going to do. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess the fake crew would be like, we're not actually sinking. What are you talking about? Unless they fake some other oh. sort of thing. Yeah, something else happened. The ventilation system! The ventilation control system! Oh no, we're sinking. The coolant appears highly contaminated. It was damaged when the caterpillar went down. Oh, maybe it is the doctor. Mm. Radiation is moving forward. Get us to periscope depth. We'll ventilate with the outside air. Hi, right, Captain. Simply changing the air won't do. We've got to get the men off. We have been sabotaged. I'm afraid the doctor is right. Surface. We'll evacuate the men to the deck. Is that a song and dance between the captain I and... I think Samuel. it might be. I think it might be. Like they want to make They want to make the doctor think it's his idea that he's convinced the captain in front yeah, of the men. To let to let them all Yep, yeah, yep, yep, yep. So is the saboteur Captain Ramus himself? And once these guys go, they'll just get back in. <laughs> we'll rotate through the calm. No officer will spend more than twenty minutes below deck. Red October do not attempt to submerge or you will be fired upon. The officers and I will submerge beneath you. You'll receive the order of landing for this captain. Wait, I'm not following. What does that mean? Well, now he's getting the doctor off the ship, too. Right. I think this is all the... Put a shot across his bow. Come right to 180. No, but these a... guys are actually shooting. It's not a, a part of the plan? They must have talked to these guys somehow. Seahawk 1, release on my command. Drop now. Yeah, they're just attacking. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, this isn't good. Three hundred yards. Yep, you did it too soon. Oh, oh. Understand, Commander? That torpedo did not self-destruct. You heard it, it hit. hit the hull. Yeah. And I oh. was never here. <laughs> <laughs> That's yes. awesome. Mm-hmm. Okay. I have goosebumps right now. Oh, yeah, and now they're back to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Russian, and there's no subtitles, because you mm -hmm. guess we're from the Americans' point of view. Yeah, interesting. Uh, interesting. The whole movie, he says he doesn't smoke, but to... to yeah, become... a gesture, yeah. Yeah, That yeah, everybody yeah. understands. <laughs> what gives you the right to fire on my ship? It was necessary to maintain the illusion for your crew. Then how did you know our reactor accident was false? Well, that was a guess, but it seemed logical. My officers and I request asylum in the United States of America. Torpedo! The Americans are shooting at us again! What? This is too high. Oh, it's, it's, um... It's yeah, yeah. Where the hell did it come from? Mm -hmm. Constone, our new contacts here, 4 1. Oh. Melican, get me power. And get that damn thing off my boat. It's off! Hey, I think somebody just shot a torpedo at me. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now they're actually going to combat, yeah. Alright. Done by you. Captain, by you. Captain, by you. Right. Oh man, these guys <laughs> worship him now. Yeah. <laughs> All ahead, flank, right full rudder. Flank, flank, right full He's rudder. shooting again, sir. Yeah, well, there's a whole other sub there, right? With the, up with a full American crew. Mm hmm. Can't they fight back or be defensive? Oh, for sure. That's heading into torpedo. Steady bearing still, 315. Oh, no, there's gonna be two captains on a boat. The list reach, 315. No, that's wrong. Ryan, don't turn that goddamn wheel. Oh, no. Too many cooks in the kitchen. Mm hmm. 3,000 yards, closing awfully fast. They didn't shoot at us. I can't attack a Soviet submarine without authorization. Mm. Mm -hmm. Can they, like, shoot a torpedo to intercept? Yeah. Torpedo impact, 20 seconds. Oh, so God, that's thing not again. a lot of time. Three, two, torpedo impact. What, did, what just happened? I don't know what happened. By turning into the torpedo, the captain closed the distance before it could arm itself. Oh. He won't make the same mistake twice. That's <laughs> crazy. 
Yeah, okay, but here's the thing. Being in that room with that guy. Oh, oh shit! Won't change his mind, huh, Ryan? Anyway, it would have been nice to know what he was doing. No, for sure, for sure. <laughs> but it's not as dramatic, right? No, oh. for the movie. It's oh. Not. No. Oh, Knew it. You never talk about anything nice. You never dream, mm -hmm. never hope. I would like to have seen Montana. We know, Sam. We know. Shock it. Oh. Oh. Be careful what you shoot at. <laughs> yeah. I have to be careful what I shoot at. <laughs> She's taking position behind us. Right full runner. Right full runner. I'll right. shake the man loose. He plays a good villain. They're too close. Concussion Don't assistance. argue with me. Look. Shoot, shoot now. Oh, that's the second ship. Or second sub. Way to go, Dallas! What? Ah. To Christ, this works. <laughs> All right, Chief. Put us on the roof. <laughs> One. Release countermeasures. Emergency blow. Oh, I can just imagine my ears popping right now. <laughs> <laughs> and they think <laughs> their captain has pushed the American sub to the surface. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What was he trying to do with the wires? Ignite the torpedo inside the, oh. the sub and just blow it up. Torpedo's still on our tail. The hard part about playing chicken is knowing when to flinch. Oh, jeez, okay. <laughs> right full rudder, 30 degree down. This one's gonna be close. <laughs> you are an ass. You've killed us. Oh, fuck. Holy shit. <laughs> My God. This has been a terrible tragedy, Mr. Ambassador. <laughs> I appreciate your candor in the matter. One of our submarines, an Alpha, was last reported in the area of the Grand Banks. You've lost another submarine. <laughs> <laughs> this way to hide a submarine in a river my grandfather took me to fish up that island right over there hey maybe they're gonna go fishing together yeah best friends now there are those who believe we should attack the united states first red october was built for that purpose a little revolution now and then is a healthy thing don't you think wow there was there was a lot of uh techno stuff at the beginning like the first half of the movie well yeah, we were a lot, barely, a lot. <laughs> barely catching up. But I also thought it was really interesting, though. Mm -hmm, like, all mm -hmm. the mapping and the timing and all his maneuvers. And as soon as we, like, got the hang of it mm -hmm. a little bit. Yeah, it was that's a, that was a lot of fun. I think, I think that, like, a good film should do that. The audience should always be just a little bit behind. So they're always paying attention fully, trying to catch up. Um, okay, so this is, like, our, what, third McTiernan film now? Yeah. Die Hard, Predator, this one. Any other good ones that you guys want to recommend? Yeah, so far he's just three for three. It's the least actiony and actiony silly. and yeah, the the most serious and the least yeah. I would say. No, actually, you know what? It, it had equal amount of like testosterone, just in a different way. In a different way, yeah, yeah. It's it was about power. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah, it's definitely the most serious. Die Hard mm -hmm. right in the middle and Predator the silliest. So they say that. So was it, is, is this a true story? No, maybe, maybe the novel is inspired by a true story. I mean, the movie's based on a novel, so the novel could be based on something real. Right. Yeah, Alrighty. Cool. Well, that wraps up this episode of Cinebench. Thanks everyone for joining. As always, like, share, subscribe. And if you want to support us even further, you can join us on our Patreon. Yeah, thank you to all our patrons helping mm -hmm. us keep doing this. And uh, yes. shout out to Crazy's Relative, David Elbridge, John Swan, Squirrel D, and Travis Piat. Thanks. Thank you all very much. Bye.